Hi everyone, um, let's do a strong base workout. Um, so I'm here with the Allegro 2 Reformer. The bar is on the high position and I'm on three red springs. That's three heavy springs. So um, headrest can stay down for now. Let's go ahead and lie down on our back. Head on the headrest and we'll place our heels right on the bar about fist distance apart. Okay. All right, just settling into the carriage here. We're gonna take a big inhale. On the exhale, I just want you to draw the navel to the spine without sucking in, right? It's just a pulling in of the abdominals and then inhale to release. And one or more of those. Exhale, scoop the belly up and in. And release. That up part is your pelvic floor muscles. So activate the pelvic floor muscles. Those muscles needed to hold your pee and your bowel movements in. Lift those up like you're trying to hold, right? Hold that all in. Or you could think of pulling the navel upwards towards the rib cage. That also helps to activate those. On this next one, you guys, we're just going to tuck the tail. So we're gonna press that lower back into the carriage. Navel draws up and in and then inhale to release, untuck the pelvis back to your neutral spine. Scoop the belly up and in, tuck, exhale, pressing your lower back into the carriage. Inhale, untuck the pelvis, little space between the lower back and the carriage, two more. One more here. and come back to your neutral spine, so untucked pelvis. Flex your feet, arms by your sides. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, draw the navel in, press out. Hold it at the top, inhale to come back in slowly. Exhale, press out, hold it at the top. Inhale, come back in slowly. Keep going, you guys, with your breath. And just one exhale to press you out, hold, and one inhale to bring you back in. A few things to think about here. I want you to press all the way out, but it's not like a locking up of those joints. Just think of stretching those muscles as far as you can. So it's an active stretch. Good, squeezing the glutes as you press out. And just focusing on that pressing out part for now and just putting on the brakes when you come in. Back of the head is just melting into the headrest. <sighs> Knees are pointing straight up to the ceiling. Let's do about four more here. Good, and two, so squeezing those glutes even before you start pressing out, and one, bring it in. This time, slide down onto your toes. All 10 toes on the bar, heels slightly lifted. Scoop those abs up and in, press the carriage out, stretch. Now I want you to focus on the coming in part. As you come in, press into that bar heavily with your feet, like you wanna resist the carriage from coming in. And then press out, stretch those legs, stretch those quads and push the bar as you come in. Let's inhale to press out for these ones and exhale to come in. Inhale, press out, hold. Exhale, push the bar to come in. Good, keep going you guys. Nice and controlled. Trying not to let the pelvis tuck as you come in. Good, four more. Pressing the bar as far away from you as you can, as you press out. Last one here, we hold it at the top. From here, with control, lower your heels underneath the bar. Feel that nice stretch for your calves. And squeeze your glutes and lift your heels. Lower the heels, squeeze the glutes and lift. Lower with control, squeeze the glutes and lift. So, these are called calf raises. They stretch and strengthen your calves. Try not to let the heels drop like this as you lower them down. Really control them down. Almost like your heels are in an elevator and they're 
going down level by level, nice and gradually with control and release, reach them as far as they go and even a little further. <laughs> Almost like you're trying to pull the bar towards you with your toes as your heels push under. Let's do three more and two. Good, you guys, last one. Lift the heels, bend the knees, bring it in. Stay on your toes, just bring your heels together so your feet look like a V. Knees are slightly pointing outward, squeeze those heels tight, press out, wrap those inner thighs together. Scoop the belly up and in, activate that core, and then squeeze your heels tight to come in. Let's press out, exhale, hold. Inhale, bring it in, squeezing those heels tight. Press out, exhale, hold. Squeeze those heels tight to come in. Let's go for six. And five. Good, working the inner thighs here. Four. Squeezing those heels to come in. Three. Two. Awesome, you guys. Last one. And bring it in. Nicely done. Unhook your heels. Heels back on the bar. Fist distance apart. Let's have the arms up to the ceiling, palms facing each other. Widen your collarbones by really pressing those shoulders down into the carriage. We're going to tuck the tail, scoop the belly up and in. So that scooping of the belly, we're activating in the core. Slowly roll your hips up. One, bone out of time into your bridge. So we're rolling up the spine, hold it at the shoulder blades. Keep trying to pull that carriage in actively by pulling the bar with your heels towards your glutes and by thinking of pulling your kneecaps over the bar. Then slowly peel your spine down. Untuck at the bottom, inhale. Exhale, scoop those abs, tuck the tail, roll it up. Hips stayed nice and level, meaning one hip is not lowering down more than the other. We're trying to press equally through each legs, through each leg. And two more. Keep pulling that carriage in. That's going to work those hamstrings, the back of those thighs. Articulating the spine down, bone by bone by bone. Hold this next one up, you guys. Pause. Keep pulling that carriage and we pulse those hips up an inch and down an inch. And nine, eight, squeezing those glutes, seven, six, five, keep pulling the carriage in, four, three, two, awesome, last one, and peel your spine down one bone at a time. Good work, you guys. Lower the arms, come back onto your toes, press the carriage out, lower your heels for a stretch. Lift your heels, bring it in. Good work. Let's work on abdominal curls. So let's place the feet on the platform for now. Scoot down a little bit so you're not crunched against the shoulder blocks, just a little, just a tiny bit. Arms up to the ceiling, palms facing forwards. Sliding your shoulder blades down the back. We're going to inhale, prep. We're going to nod the chin. So nod the chin is just giving yourself a little double chin action here without lifting the head. And then head and shoulders curl up as the arms push down and hold. Reach those fingertips forwards under the bar. So we're lifted to the bottom tips of the shoulder blades, not too high like this, and then not too low like this. So kind of right in the middle, the spine stays long. If you've noticed that you've tucked your pelvis like this, go ahead and untuck it. So think of your sit bones shining downwards a little bit more. The rib cage stays on that carriage, chest stays heavy. Navel draws in, staying here, keep reaching. Good, sit bones are still pulling down. Abs are still pulling in. We're imagining a little marble on the belly button. You're just kind of scooping in. And then arms up, head down. Two more, nod the chin, so double chin. Arms go down, head and shoulders curl up, hold. Scoop those abs, reach those arms forwards. And then the back of your head, imagine it's like pulling back to lengthen the back of the neck. And come on down, arms up, head down. One more, not the chin. Head and shoulders curl up, arms press down, hold. Abs are drawing up and in. 
and then arms up, head down. Good work, you guys. We're gonna come up and change the springs. So come on up. Let's do one red spring and one yellow. So one heavy spring and one light spring. If you don't have a very light spring, just one heavy spring will do. Lie back down on your back, feet on the bar. Grab onto your straps behind you. Let's hold on to the short straps if you have that option. Arms go up to the ceiling. Let's always start with those arms plugged into the back. So we don't want to start with the arms way back here, past like higher than the shoulders. We want to push them down slightly lower than the shoulders. Now press those shoulders down, the shoulder blades down into the carriage. Keep your feet on the bar. Draw the belly and nod your chin. At the same time, press down into the straps. Lift your head and shoulders up just like we practiced and hold. Keep reaching your arms, your hands into those straps. Keep drawing those abs in. Bring one leg up to tabletop, hold. Good, you guys, keep breathing, switch the legs. Foot down, other leg comes up to tabletop. Hold, keep reaching into those straps. Foot down, arms up, head down. Going one step further. Not the chin, scoop those abs. Head and shoulders curl up as the arms press down. Press into those straps actively. Bring one leg up to tabletop, hold it there. Bring the other leg up to tabletop. If you need a modification, you can tuck your tail and let your knees pull closer towards your chest if that feels better on your back. If you feel like your ribs are lifting up like this, I'm not sure if you can see that, but really press those ribs down. If your hip flexors are feeling a little just a little tight or a little um, tender right now, you can cross one ankle over the other and that will help relieve those hip flexors. So staying here, you guys, reaching into those straps, legs are gonna stay in tabletop, arms up, head down. Two more, nod the chin, curl up, scoop those abs, reach into those straps, arms up, head down, and curl up, nod the chin, head and shoulders come up. And come on down, one more here, you guys and come on down feet on the bar hook your straps back up good work everybody hands on the shoulder blocks let your knees pull over to one side and breathe and then pull them over to the other side and breathe all right bring them back up go ahead and come up to sitting and we're going to stay on that spring tension, one heavy and one light, and step off to the right side of the reformer. We're going for some scooters here. So left foot's gonna go against the shoulder block, right foot's gonna stay on the floor, hands on the bar. Now look at your knees and see if you need to step that right foot further back. We wanna line those knees up. So staying here, left hand stays on the bar, right hand behind your lower back. Now lift the knee off the carriage. Pull those hips back. Open through the chest, make sure you're not rounding the lower back. We're not rounding the upper back either. We're gonna draw those abs and push out with the left leg, squeeze the left glute, bend the knee in a little bit. Press out and bend. Press out and bend. Good, you guys. Scoop those abs in as you press out, reaching through that left heel. And we're here for six and five keep pushing that left hip forwards as you push back with that left heel three two and one bring it in good work you guys let's step on over to the other side for the same thing right foot against the shoulder block hands on the bar line up your knees Pull your hips back, open the chest so your back is flat, lift your knee off the carriage, left hand behind your lower back. Keep the weight pressed back as you push back with that right heel, bend the knee a little bit and press it back. Bend the knee in a little and push. Good, you guys. So we're only pretty much bending that right knee to where it kind of touches that carriage and press back from there. That's just making sure the hips stay nice and square and level. We're here for six and five. Scoop in the belly as you press back. Four, three, two, and one, and bring it in. Nicely done, okay. Let's switch to one blue spring only. That's just one medium spring. 
And let's come into our knees facing the risers. Knees against the shoulder blocks. We're gonna place our hands right on the frames of the carriage. Knees underneath the hips, wrists underneath the shoulders. Neutral spine. Let's flow through some cat cows here before we let the carriage move. So we're gonna round the back like an angry cat. And then we're looking towards the thighs and paws. Scoop that belly up and in. Press down actively into your feet, into your legs. And then coming back to neutral, natural curve of the spine, into the cow that's arching the back. We're gonna tilt that breastbone up, bending from the mid back, scoop those abs in still. Keep activating that core so we're not pushing the belly down. And back to neutral and cow, cat, sorry, round the back. Scoop those abs, press down into your feet. Right into the cow, passing through the neutral spine. Shoulders pull back, abs pull in. Breastbone pulls forwards. One more, into the cat, exhale. Navel draws in, inhale into the cow. Shoulders press back, back to neutral. Let's move the carriage now. Draw the belly up and in. At the same time, we're gonna tuck the tail and pull the knees forwards. So we're gonna tuck the tail, knees pull forwards, look towards your thighs, press down into your legs and into your feet. Scoop those abs and come back into your neutral spine, carriage goes home. Again, draw the belly up and in. Tuck the tail, knees pull forwards. So the back is round and we're really thinking about pulling our hip bones towards our bottom ribs and then bringing it back. And two more. Think pubic bone to belly button. Good, you guys. Last one here. And bring it back. Good work. You can sit down on your heels. Nicely done. All right, let's stay facing this way. We're just going to sit cross-legged. If sitting cross-legged is not comfortable for you, you can grab a wedge or like a rolled up towel and place it underneath your butt to have your hips lifted up a little bit higher. So staying here, grab your straps. We're gonna hold on to the short straps. Palms facing each other, elbows unlocked. Make sure that you're not leaning forwards, not leaning back too much. Ideally, we want the rib cage right over the pelvis, so just stacked right over that pelvis. Staying here, unlock your elbows, so just kind of round them a little bit. Press the shoulders down. Inhale, prepare. Draw the navel to the spine. Exhale, we open the arms out to the sides, keeping the elbows unlocked, and just grow tall. Think of the spine lifting up out of the hips. Then bring the arms back to the front. Scoop the belly up and then open the arms out. Hold, grow tall and bring it back to the front. Good job, you guys. Four more here. <sighs> Plugging into your back, to the back of the shoulders, and three. <sighs> Making sure that the spine and the torso aren't pulling front and back, left and right, stabilizing everything. And two. <sighs> Good, last one here. And bring the arms back to the front. Good work, cross your straps. Hands inside the short straps so that the strap is on the back of the hand. So just placing your hand right inside, thumbs are sticking out. Straps are crossed, elbows by your sides. Now roll those shoulders back. We're going to squeeze the upper arms to the body as you open the arms out a little bit back and then pull them forwards a little. So only press back as far as you can keep your upper arms squeezed in and bring them to the front. We're working rotator cuffs, back of the rotator cuffs. Really important to strengthen that area for healthy shoulders. And you can still work that core here. You can draw the belly up and in as you open the arms out to the sides or as you press them back. Inhale as the arms pull forwards. Let's go for five. And four, keep hugging in those upper arms. Three, keeping the wrists nice and straight, carefully not, careful not to bend them. 
Last one here. Good work, you guys. Uncross the straps, hook them back up. Hands on the shoulder blocks, round your back for a stretch. You can pull on those shoulder blocks as you round the back. We're just kind of parting those shoulder blades and then back to straight sitting. Okay, let's turn around. Spring change. Add a red spring, so you have a blue and a red spring. Lie back down on your back. Feet on the bar. Grab your straps behind you. Let's place our feet in the straps. So, pressing off the bar, we're going to place one foot in one strap and then the other in the other strap. Legs up to the ceiling. Hands on your hips. So when we have feet and straps, you really want to focus on pelvic stability. That's making sure the hip bones aren't rocking um, um, up and down and side to side. So anchor that tailbone. Imagine your sit bones pressing downward so that we can keep our neutral spine and the ribs stay anchored down as well. From here, we're going to squeeze the legs tight. Soften the knees, so unlock your knee joints. Sweep your legs down to about 45 degrees or to where you can keep that core engaged. So we're drawing the navel to the spine and then you can really straighten your legs to bring them back up to the point where you can still keep that tail down. So that point kind of um, is different for everybody depending on the flexibility of the hamstrings. And again, squeeze the legs tight, unlock the knees, sweep them down and then sweep them back up and pull and lift. Good, you guys, four more. Stabilizing the spine, not letting the pelvis shift. Good, heavy chest as the legs lower down, really press those ribs down. Good, then legs up. We're gonna open the legs out to the sides, circle them down and around and together, and bring them back up. Open to the side, then circle them down and around and together, and back up. Really reach into those straps as you circle them around. See how far you can reach those legs, as in like forwards, past the bar. And these circles can be big, they can be small, out to the sides, whatever feels best to you. We're just lubricating the hip joints, getting a good stretch as well through the inner thighs and strengthening them at the same time. Let's reverse. Legs go down together, open out to the sides, circle around and up. So remember, bring the legs as only as high up as you can keep that tailbone anchored. Squeezing them tight to lower down. Working the hamstrings on the way down. Four more. Good, last one here. And let's do a nice butterfly stretch. Bottoms of the feet together, bend your knees out to the sides. You can hold on to those ropes. Give those inner thighs a little stretch. And you can take the feet out of the straps, feet on the bar, hook your straps back up. And you guys are done with this strong base workout. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye you guys.